Yo, what's up everybody? You know what it is? We got a XL ice cube in there that's finishing up and all the ice in the fridge. So it's not feeling super cold. I'm gonna have to invest in like an actual uh, pump or uh, a water chiller here soon, but uh, we're gonna be doing with what we got for now. So let's do it. It's a little bit lower. Cold water's a lower. <laughs> Okay, first question is, oops, sorry, my phone locked. <laughs> you talk about going from working less than four hours a day and being distracted to now being able to work a lot longer and be more efficient when you do. Yeah. What did you change to first be able to start doing that? Yeah, great question. So first piece, like I, whenever I first started becoming an entrepreneur, I was really focused on, yeah, I just get to work less, you know, half the time of a, a full-time employee and I get to pay, get be paid 10 times more, you know, that does n never really pan out uh, in most scenarios, at least when you're getting started, right? Of course, when you have a business three, four years, working less and making much more is the objective. But when you're just starting a business, it's really about putting that time in, right? 10 hour days, 12 hour days in some cases. And some of the biggest shifts that I personally made were cutting out dopamine from other sources. So if we're talking, uh, you know, playing video games in the past or watching TV or eating junk food, stuff like that just fries like my ability to actually pay attention because when I actually have the chance to do sit down and start working, um, I'm spending, I'm, I'm sitting there wanting to do something else, right? It's not fun, but like whenever I cut everything else out, that's very stimulating that, that uh, I guess, not creates a lot of dopamine, but spends a lot of dopamine. I'm able to really focus in uh, and like actually have fun and enjoy the actual work I'm doing. So those that's probably the biggest, biggest piece. Nice. So what are the reasons that business owners aren't productive and don't see results? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot, but yeah. what first comes to mind for you? Probably one of the biggest ones is like they don't have goals and they aren't working on something they're passionate about. And I say that like you don't have to have passion the entire time you're running your business, right? Passion just kind of helps get you, like get you up in the morning a little bit better, right? It helps you stay focused on a task for a little bit longer when you're in your life's work, right? But I'd say the biggest piece to actually get into that state consistently of like reaching your goals is basically um, setting those goals, right? So like you set a larger goal, maybe it's 30K months, maybe it's 50K months, uh, and then you work backwards from there. What are like the top three things that you need to do um, on a, on a weekly basis, especially on a daily basis to actually reach that goal, right? And the biggest thing is that you don't set that goal. Uh, like I wanna make 50K months in, in one week when you're when you're sitting at 10K, right? You wanna set that goal out about six, six months to a year. So then you have enough time to actually ramp up, do the things that it takes to actually build things up, move forward exponentially. And then that's gonna come down to uh, the top 20% of your tasks that are driving 80% of your results. So Pareto principle, you're gonna focus on those really, really high impact tasks like I said, those top three, they're gonna help move you towards that goal on a longer term uh, horizon. So like we're talking cold outreach, we're talking content creation, um, and we're talking like client delivery. So definitely just starting big and then breaking it down um, into smaller pieces. And this one will be something that we're recently passionate about even more, but what do you do to optimize your environment for no, I don't wanna say no distractions, but just like, efficiency yeah so basically um distractions have they're one of the reasons that it makes it hard to work 10 12 hour days right like you're sitting there you're doing work oh maybe i want to watch a youtube video or oh there's a, there's a meeting that comes up or oh i need i need to send this message out and you keep jumping from task to task to task so one of the biggest things is like creating a to-do list uh, making sure you're hitting those high level actions every single day but for me personally uh, this really comes down to something we've been exploring recently, uh, my wife and I, is getting out in the sun and just like getting healthy, eating the right foods. Um, I have found that when I am in the sunlight, like for three to four hours a day, I'm finding it's very easy and very fun for me to focus in on what I'm doing. I'm not easily distracted. Um, I think a lot behind like being in a dark room with closed doors, with computer light just shining in your eyes all day mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really it's not really conducive to being able to like 
really productively move forward with something, right? And it definitely is not conducive for your overall health. So being in the sun, building up some, some energy and uh, getting your skin to where it needs to be, to where you can handle sun for a long time. You don't want to get sunburned when you're just getting started. But um, I, I really found that to be like a big driver for moving things forward and staying focused and having the things that I do actually be fun. Yeah, and I'm gonna add something for the yeah. background, but like the blue light from the computer and all that has a big effect on first of all depleting that dopamine. Yes. So it's like okay, you're not playing video games or you're not like you know doing the things on the computer that are quote unquote distracting, but even having that light there in the first place is it's not the full like spectrum of light that you're supposed to be getting and it's yeah. completely depleting your dopamine. Yeah. So it's basically the same effect. And also, um, there's one more thing I was going to say on that, but I forgot. We'll save it for another one. But yeah, definitely do your own research. This is something we've been looking into in the past couple of weeks here. And it's something I've noticed over time. Like when I'm sitting in front of a computer for a long amount of time, I notice I start to feel tired or get that feeling like I would have, almost if I ate a bunch of junk food or if I played a bunch of video games, right? It had depleted my dopamine. So I was like just tired and looking for more stimulating things to do, right? So you definitely don't want that when you're trying to work and focus on one thing consistently. Um, and yeah, definitely just focusing in. And on that note, I think that was your last question, right? Yeah, I did want to add though, um, I just remembered like this yeah. isn't BS about the blue light. They actually no. do this in casinos to keep people yes. addicted, spending money. Like they black black out the windows, all that sort of stuff. Yep. You know, just you think about like why do they yeah. do that, right? right? So yeah. To keep you there, keep you addicted, keep you hooked, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. And yeah, this is actually a lot of the stuff that I talk about in my profitable productivity guide, which I have as part of my school community. It's, it's entirely really free. <laughs> I'm giving it away. We focus on your mindset. We focus on your physical state. And we also focus on reducing distractions in your environment, helping you reach those big goals in business. So I'd love to have you come into my community, check it out. And I look forward to seeing you in there. This was great. This is awesome. I'm getting used to it. Take care.